I feel like a new man. <laughs> Excuse my singing, guys. I know you're probably jealous. You're jealous. You're like a goddamn genie and you got that singing voice. But uh, no, holy shit, guys. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I just got back from my appointment with a foot specialist or whatever they're called. They're called like a pediatrician. Whatever the hell his name is or their type of name. Anyways, moving on. But um, yeah, I just got back and I actually got the toothpick taken out of my foot. I was gonna record it and I was gonna take a picture, but I forgot my phone and you know, I wasn't gonna not do it because I didn't have my phone with me. So no, 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 that wasn't gonna happen. But um, yeah, I got it taken out and it was about an inch and a half of a toothpick that was in my foot. And at first, every doctor told me there's nothing in there because they didn't pick it up on their x-ray. Even the specialist was like, wow, that's really weird. You know, we, we should have been able to see the toothpick on the x-ray, but for some reason it wasn't showing up. So anyways, let me tell you guys what happened because it's a pretty interesting story and it fucking almost made me cry. But uh, moving on. So okay, so today I actually woke up around 7ish. I was going to go to school, but I was having a really sharp pain in my foot. So I ended up staying home. So my mom called the specialist and told him, hey, you know, can I make an appointment for my son? Because, you know, he's got a toothpick in his foot and he really needs it out like now. And uh, the receptionist over there was like, hey, well, if you could bring him over right now before 1030, we can attend them. So I was like, oh, shit, bitch, get up, get dressed, let's go. <laughs> so I got dressed, got ready, headed over there. We waited for about an hour and a half before they actually called us and I went in there. And I was sitting in the room waiting for him to get in. Once he came in, he's like, oh, it, I know you. Can, uh, is your foot doing good or whatever? I'm like, no, the toothpick's still in there. He's like, but I didn't see anything on the x-ray. I'm like, well, here, you can feel it. So he grabbed both sides of my toe, and you could feel it, and you could move it around back and forth. It was pretty nasty, and you could feel both ends, and he goes, whoa, there really is something in here. Um, do you want me to cut it open and try to get it out? Because if you do, I can. If not, we can just see what happens. I'm like, no, you could cut it open right now and get this shit out of my foot. So he ended up doing that. He ended up going, all right, well, I'm going to give you some local anesthesia. And for those of you that don't know what local anesthesia is, it's pretty much regular anesthesia. What it does, it puts your foot to sleep or the area that he injects it in, it puts the area to sleep and just numbs it to where you can't feel anything until a little bit after you start getting your feeling back. But um, moving on. So he pulls out the anesthesia needles or whatever, and they're about four inches long, so they're really big needles, and he injects my toe with it, and holy shit, guys, this shit hurt. It wasn't really the needle that hurt, it was just the feeling of having that shit go in some of my foot and feel the liquid, like, dispersing in my foot. It really hurt really badly. Um, I didn't start crying, but I was in pain. But, you know, as soon as he put that shit in there and it just sat and it just, you know, chilled there for a bit, I lost feeling in my foot. Like, I couldn't feel anything. Like, I literally pinched my foot like crazy. Didn't feel a thing. So he goes, all right, so let's get started. He pulls out his little scalpel and he cuts, like, a little X over the hole or where, you know, it's supposed to be at, the toothpick. And then he starts, you know, messing with it. He's there for about 15 minutes or so and he still couldn't get a grip of it because apparently it was deep in my foot and he just kept trying and he couldn't get it. So he was like, all right, I'm going to try this one more time. If I can't get it, I'm going to send you over to the hospital to ER, and you're going to have surgery to get this removed. I'm like, God damn it. Just, I don't want to do all that. Just get it out now. Do your best. And he's like, all right. So he keeps going, and the bad thing was I was starting to get feeling back in my foot, and the reason I knew this was because I could feel him cutting into my skin. I could feel the... Um, the pliers or pinchers or whatever you want to call them actually grabbing my skin and pulling them. so I'm just sitting there you know <laughs> biting my teeth about to scream and all hell broke loose when he grabbed the stick as soon as he grabbed it it sent a pain that was so bad up my foot and I just yanked my foot back so fast guys it hurt like crazy. He looked at me. He's like, whoa, are you okay? Okay? I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. He's like, right, let me try to get out. I'm like, no, no, no. Just give me like one minute because it hurts like living shit. Um, apparently, the toothpick was super close to a nerve in my foot. So the reason it hurt so bad was because when he grabbed it, he hit the nerve. And it caused my foot to twitch. Or not really twitch, but it sent that shock or that uh, pain up my foot. And it was just horrible. It was... <laughs> Words cannot describe the pain I felt, but I was like, all right, you know what, whatever, just keep going, get the shit out. So he's just sitting there, and he finally grabbed the hold of it, and he just yanked it. And as soon as that little toothpick came out, he showed me it, and I was like, God damn that son of a bitch. That thing right there caused me to miss two and a half weeks of school, guys. Two and a half weeks. So, you know, I'm just sitting there in pain, and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. You know, as soon as it came out, you know, it was a relief, but it was still in a lot of pain. So I'm like, you know, I'm breathing heavy and shit, and he goes, oh, my bad, dude. It's going to hurt like hell for a while, but I'm going to give you some more oxy uh, cotton. 
and just have you on some pain meds and some antibiotics until this could go by. And the thing that sucks is I have to go to school tomorrow. The main reason is because my principal wants me to get expelled from my school. He wants me kicked out. He doesn't want me going back to school because I've missed two and a half weeks straight without going to school. And he said, you know, you're missing all these days. You ain't going to pass. So get out of my school. I don't want you here. My mom flipped shit. My mom's like, look, he's been hurt. He's been going back and forth between x-rays and hospitals and specialists. And you can't just kick him out just because he's got medical reasons and he goes well you know what sorry he hasn't been here so I don't want him here so I have to go to school tomorrow in a wheelchair sadly and uh, talk to my principal co convince him to let me stay because you know it's not gonna be fair if he actually does kick me out because I've been hurt for the last couple days I don't know I thought you guys should know that JDM is officially fine with this whole foot situation I am NOT allowed to walk or you know run or do any physical exercise with my toes for the next two weeks which kind of sucks as that means no playing sports no walking and the fact that I'm gonna have to be in a wheelchair for the next two weeks going to school in a wheelchair for that matter which kind of sucks but you know whatever it gets those girls uh, feeling bad for me so JDM can spit his game <laughs> no but you know I'm joking guys you know I've got an amazing girlfriend and there's no reason to be flirting when I got an amazing girlfriend right now but uh, moving on I just want you guys to know what's going on with my whole uploading schedule a lot of you guys have been asking you know what's going on what's your plans for uploading my official uploading schedule right now is two videos a day this is how it's gonna go around I would say three or four o'clock I'm gonna post my let's play episode of whatever game it is that I'm playing right now I'm playing Ghost Recon so I'm gonna post that episode around three or four o'clock every day and then I'm gonna have a regular video you know like a topic a commentary something like I am doing now a life story something along those lines and that's gonna be around seven or eight o'clock ish depending on you know what I'm doing that day so you guys can look forward to two episodes or two videos every day from me one is gonna be a let's play one's just gonna be an average commentary maybe maybe you'll get an occasional three ep you know three videos a day or three videos occasionally in a single day but that depends you know if I'm really in the mood to make videos or if I'm not but anyways guys I do hope you enjoyed this video if you did it well you know what you could go kiss my ass <laughs> no, I'm joking, guys. But anyways, let's see if we get this video up to 30 likes. Maybe 40, depending how cool you guys you are. Or uh, how cool you guys are. But uh, I love you all. Thanks for watching this far. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'm out, guys. Peace.